letter by Nathaniel Houghton. A young woman, Hester Prynne, is led from the town prison with her infant daughter in her arms and on the breast of her gown, a rug of scarlet cloth that assumed the shape of a letter. It was the capital letter A. A man in the crowd tells an elderly onlooker that Hester is being punished for adultery. The elderly onlooker is Hester's missing husband, who is now practicing medicine and calling himself Roger Chillingworth. He settles in Boston, intent on revenge. Hester supports herself by working as a seamstress, and Pearl, her daughter, grows into a willful, impish child who is more of a symbol than an actual character. Community officials attempt to take Pearl away from Hester, but with the help of Arthur Dimsdale, an eloquent minister, the mother and daughter manage to stay together. Chillingworth also suspects that there may be a connection between the minister's torments and Hester's secret, and he begins to test Dimsdale to see what he can learn. Dimsdale's psychological anguish deepens, and he invents new tortures for himself. In the meantime, Hester's charitable deeds and quiet humility have earned her a reprieve from the scorn of the community. One night, when Pearl is about seven years old, she and her mother are returning home from a visit to the deathbed of John Winthrop. When they encounter Dimsdale atop the town scaffold, trying to punish himself for his sin, Hester and Earl join him in a thrill link hands. Dimsday refuses Pearl's request that he acknowledge her publicly the next day and the meteor marked dull red A. Hester can see that the minister's condition is worsening and she resolves to intervene. She goes to Chillingworth and asks him to stop adding to Dimsdale's self turned men. Chillingworth refuses. She suggests that she may reveal his identity to Dimsdale. Hester arranged an encounter with Dimsdale in the forest because she is aware that Chillingworth knows that she planned to reveal his identity to Dimsdale and she wishes to protect him. While walking through the forest, the sun will not shine on Hester, though Pearl can bask in it. They then wait for Dimsdale and he arrived. Hester informed Dimsdale on the true identity of Chillingworth and the former lover decide to flee to Europe, where they can live with Pearl as a family. Both feel a sense of release and Hester removes her scarlet letter and let down her hair. Pearl playing nearby does not recognize her mother without the letter. Hester beckons Pearl to come to her, but Pearl will not go to her mother until Hester buttons the letter back onto her dress. Pearl then goes to her mother. Meanwhile, Hester has learned that Chillingworth knows on their plan and has booked passage on the same ship. Dave still leaving the church after his sermon sees Hester and Pearl standing before the town scaffold. He impulsively mounts the scaffold with his lover and his daughter and compels publicly, exposing the mark supposedly seared into the flesh of his chest. He falls dead just after Pearl kiss him. Frustrated in his revenge, Chillingworth dies a year later. Hester and Pearl leave Boston and no one knows what has happened to them. Many years later, Hester returned alone still wearing the scarlet letter to live in her old cottage and resume her charitable work. When Hester dies, she is buried in a new grave near an old and sunken one in the burial ground, beside which King Chapel has seen been built. The tombstone was decorated with the letter A and it was used for Hester and Dimsdale.